What's going on, everybody? It's going for the latest news and wrestling this past week. Been a lot of head scratches. You got Carmelo Hayes with Bobby Lashley and, and Trick Williams, you know, supposedly linking up. Um, we already seen them, you know, Bobby Lashley link up with the Street Profits. So we waiting to see what that's all about. Um, Roman Reigns and uh. You know, Jay Uso is going into tribal con combat, which I, you know, pretty much suggested that that match should be you know, no rules involved, you know, because there's already going to be a lot of interference and stuff like that as it is. Also, um, AEW Daddy as Billy Gunn, is he done with wrestling? Because what we seen last week on Collision, he, he pretty much hung up the boots it looked like um it just I don't know um we, we haven't really heard from him as of yet but we you know still waiting around to see if you know daddy has just you know completely done with either wrestling or AEW maybe, you know possibly you know going back home to WWE for, for some type of role I ain't no telling it could be a uh storyline thing you know um yeah uh but yeah uh la knight continues to you know break records as far as now he's breaking merch sales um yeah he's just still in the show every week you know la knight uh shout out to la knight man they can't drop the ball with la knight because Fans like myself is, is going to be like really disappointed if they drop the ball at LA night. Well, I mean, we, we can't act like we didn't never see it before, you know. Drew McIntyre had a good encounter with uh Gunther, you know. Kevin Owens is supposedly injured. I don't know if it's a K fate injury or he's really injured, but I'm hearing that he's really injured. Um, but yeah, uh, Gunther and uh, Drew had a good encounter on Raw, you know, good, you know. Build up for their match. Becky Lynch got her uh, lick on, uh, you know, in her match. Uh, but yeah, I'm not too sure about Kevin Owens and this injury thing, or whatever the case may be. But um, the Judgment Day continue to look good. Also, you know, they continue to look strong, along with Dirty Dom. You know, he he's you know stepping up to the plate. But I'm really just curious about this Bobby Lashley and. and Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams and Street Fighter thing, man. Is this like a hill turn for the Street Profits? If that's what it's looking like, because it's looking like they, they, you know, ain't gonna, they coming in as hills, you know. Oh, and um, also AEW was great this week. You know, make sure you guys also go check out AEW. This past week, um, show was good. Um, last week, Collision was good. Um. Yeah, it was a it was a great show. A W B B um B C C had a great match, and um yeah, it was just all around great week for wrestling. Um, I had to break it down for you guys, like you know, like this, you know, split because I've been trying to catch up with things, so I finally caught up with what I you know caught up with to give you guys an update on you know what's been happening and what you guys are gonna check out if you know. Also, um, you know, uh, what you call it, son, this guy, uh, Brian Pimmon Jr., yeah, he's WWE bound, um, he's supposed to be going to NXT, so that's a good look for him, but, uh, this respect thing, what's gonna happen this, you know, Friday, come, you know, this tribal combat thing that's gonna happen between Roman and Jey Uso, you know? Can't wait to see what's gonna happen this Friday. Uh, other news: Bobby Lashley want to possibly want a future match with uh, Batista. He got a lot of respect for Batista. He respect what Batista did for the business, so he possibly want a future match with Batista. Probably a possible, you know, somewhere down the line WrestleMania. Cause this is gonna draw money, you know. Let's face it. So. And, you know, Batista's all about his business, you know. He's, he's been all about his business for, you know, since, you know, since he stepped into Hollywood or whatever. So, 
Yeah, it's definitely gonna draw money. So I feel I feel like those guys should you know somewhere down the line make it happen. You know, both powerhouses. You know. Oh, in other news, also, uh, Cody actually got real life heat with uh, Seth Rollins. Or is this like kayfabe also? Because I'm hearing that he really got legitimate heat with Seth Rollins. And I'm hearing these rumors also that Bray Wyatt, the Fiend, for the possibly may have a possible match with Cody. So I don't know what's going on. And that's supposed to be like at Hell in a Cell, which is, uh, I believe, they they hold that in December, I believe. Now, I don't know, not unless they change the date. You know what I mean? But that's what I'm hearing. That's, that's what the rumors I've been hearing swimming around. As in like, But, yeah, he got but oh, well, he got real life heat for Seth Rollins. Anybody, any of you guys know about that? Because I'm just not hearing about this. But I don't know if it's like a kayfabe thing. Like a, it's like a build up for, for, for a future match. Because, you know, we've been hearing that uh, Cody might, you know, have a potential match against Seth Rollins for that title, so, um, it's no telling what it could possibly be as far as it is, so, you guys let me know what y'all think, man, like, share, comment, subscribe.